We don't have to accept that this is the way it is. We don't have to accept that our children are addicted to social media. We don't have to accept that we are addicted to our phones. It doesn't have to be this way. Mozilla is honoring 25 people who are shaping the future of the internet. Here are their stories. My name is Finn Lutzholm Myrsta. I'm the director of digital policy at the Norwegian Consumer Council. In my day job, what I try to do is uh, hold companies accountable. I, I got into sort of working for good, if I can say that, uh, at a very young age when I was 11. I attended uh, camps for children from all over the world where the goal was <laughs> world peace, really. Throughout my life, I've been working uh, generally for uh, causes that I believe in, that I'm passionate about. And 10 years ago, I got this opportunity to work on tech policy. And this was, you know, right after the smartphone was really coming uh, into people's lives, social media was taking off. So what we've been doing is to try to understand how the technology works. We've tried to read those impossible terms and conditions and understand what they actually mean. We were seen as, uh, as being tech skeptics. It's not about that. We want technology that improves our lives, but we don't want technology that is let loose on society without checks and balances. I, or any stranger, can connect to the doll while being outside the room where Kayla and her friends are. We've uncovered massive vulnerabilities in internet-connected toys. We've uncovered how big tech companies are using deceptive designs to lure us to give away our data or to keep us hooked on services or keep us paying subscription fees. We've looked at how apps completely invade our privacy and sell our data to thousands of ad companies online. And we try to bring awareness to politicians, to the public, through campaigns. Uh, we litigate. I'm also the co-chair of something called the Transatlantic Consumer Dialogue, a network of 80 groups based in Europe and the US. Uh, since we know that these challenges are global, sharing information internally is super helpful. And we've done that quite successfully, launching coordinated complaints in Europe against Amazon, in the US against Amazon on Amazon Prime, against Google for using deceptive design. And that is very powerful because then the media pays attention, politicians pay attention, and obviously the companies can't ignore it, which they easily could have done if it, we just published it in our little country in Norway. I feel very honored that Mozilla has given me this, this award. I have, when you have such a boring name as Norwegian Consumer Council, you have, to have, you have to do something exciting, right? For us, it's all about accountability. It's about keeping the companies accountable, but also governments accountable, making sure that we get the tech we deserve and the tech we want. So I hope that for me and for my team and for the network, we can use this to keep pushing for positive change. And I think we can speak up at our workplace, we can speak up at our schools, we can tell our politicians that this is something we care about. I think we need to both have a ground up <laughs> uprising in a way, and also we need regulation from politicians, but for, for sure we all need to do our thing and we need to speak up.